السلام علیکم السلام علیکم اللہ سر آئی ہیو اے بگ ڈاؤٹ ایکچولی آئی ایم فرام انڈیا اوکے اوکے دین مائی ڈاؤٹ از سر سر یو نو دیر فور ڈفرنٹ اسکولس آف تھاٹس ار دیر اوکے کین کین یو ٹرن کین یو ٹرن ڈاؤن دا ٹی وی فالو اینی ون اف اسکول تھاٹس ار یو نو کین یو ٹرن دا دا ٹی وی پلیز اوکے اوکے سو اوکے سر So my question, sir, is, uh, you know, I do roughly dance, okay? Okay. So in the four schools of thought, it is few of the people, like my parents and all, they say, no, don't do roughly dance, we are followers of this, uh, this, uh, sahaba, this sahaba, so they have drawn up there, you know. Yes. Okay. They don't go for the roughly dance, they say that uh, should not do roughly dance, we should follow our own, you know. Okay. Uh, praying and all. Back in India. And here, I have to struggle a lot back in India also, sir. I will My answer question to you is, is it mandatory to do Rafla then? I want clear-cut answers. If you can clarify me, I'll be thankful to you. I will do that, sir. Rafla then is mandatory or not? I will do that. Shukran. Hayyak Allah. Brother Adil is asking a very short and concise question. Is it mandatory, mandatory to raise your hands in prayer? As we know that the Sunnah is, you raise your hands in four locations. Two do not, are not repeated. And that is one, when you start the takbir to ihram, the first takbir in the Quran, and in, in, uh, the prayer. The second is when you are in the tashahud, the first tashahud, and you stand up for the third rak'ah, you raise your hands. The third and the fourth happen in every rak'ah, when I bow for ruku' and when I raise my head and saying, Sami Allah, Alim al He's asking, is this mandatory? The answer is no. This is his question, and this is my answer. However, is it Sunnah? Definitely yes. And what about the four schools of thought where the school of uh, uh, Imam Abu Hanifa, may Allah have mercy on his soul, said that it is not part of the Sunnah? Well, this is what the Imam said. The other three Imams say that it is part of the Sunnah. The, the, the Hadith is crystal clear and you cannot say that it is not authentic. It is authentic. It's in Sahih Bukhari. Ibn Umar said that I've seen the Prophet, not once, he's always often does this. So saying this, it is a sunnah. However, there are many sunnahs in the prayer that if you don't do them, your prayer is valid. Your prayer is invalid if you leave out something that is a pillar or intentionally leave some out something that is mandatory. So if someone goes to the rukur position without saying Allahu Akbar, he doesn't utter it. I'm not talking about Raf al yadin I'm saying that he just goes there and says, Subhana Rabbi al -Azim. Why didn't you say Allah Akbar? He said, I don't want to. Or he bows or prostrates and he does not say Subhana Rabbi al or Subhana Rabbi al -Ala. Why didn't you say it? Did you forget? No, I didn't forget. I just don't feel like it. I want to say something else. And in this case, this person's prayer is invalid. But sunnas, such as raising the hands, putting your right hand over the left on the chest. If I want to pray like this throughout the whole prayer, my prayer is valid. My prayer is valid and it's accepted. I have abandoned a sunnah, but it doesn't affect my prayer.